Hey everyone, hope you can hear me okay. I got a setup here that I think will work for this. I've had a, quite a few requests about doing a tutorial on how I've been spraying my glitter. So just a real quick uh, recap. This is um, what I use. Um, this is how it comes. Uh, this is actually mounted on the top of this. There's just two set screws uh, that you loosen up. This comes right off. Basically, you can throw it away, keep it, whatever you want to do. Um, then I 3D printed, I uh, had a friend 3D print uh, this hopper that goes on top to put the glitter in. Uh, just yesterday, I started molding this. Uh, I haven't tried it out. This is going to be the first time uh, trying it out uh, today when we I show you this video. Um, it's basically just a fan that I flattened down and it uh, just screws on to the end of where the original uh, tube was and my thought was that if this uh, was on here um, then I could put out a fan uh, pattern of the glitter versus just it going everywhere so we're going to try this out see if it works and if so I'll be uh, 3d printing some more of those as well uh, there's an adjustment over on the side here. I found out that uh, that's all the way open and closed. Uh, I found out that just about all the way open is where I run it for, uh, for glitter. Uh, I just have a little airbrush line that I put a fitting on to the bottom here into the quarter inch and then I just connect uh, my airbrush line and that's how I run it. Uh, so again, you just pour the glitter into the little hopper here. Um, it does not take very much. Uh, these are the cups that I, or the bottles that I've been showing. Um, this bottle here I did with this little tube of glitter. And as you can see, I still have uh, a quarter or so of the tube left. And I did not recover any of the glitter that I didn't try to, to uh, get any after I cleaned up after I sprayed the glitter on. So it doesn't use that much. Um, here's another one that I did, a white base with some uh, silver glitter. Sorry, I have to go turn my garage lights back on. Sorry, be right back. All right, sorry, my garage lights are on an automatic timer. If they don't sense motion, they turn off. Um, so if I forget to turn them off, they go off by themselves. And unfortunately, they do it uh, <laughs> on their own at the, at the worst opportune time. Um, so that's the two I have. Um, sit these over here. This is what I'm going to be spraying today. Uh, it's just a cheap um, stainless steel cup with the plastic inside from Dollar General or, or the Dollar Tree. Um, I just got this fear we'd try it out. I did mass it off and then sandblasted it. I have a sandblaster, which most of you probably don't have the, the um, courtesy of having that, but it is, it is nice uh, and makes prepping these cups really, really fast. Even if they're powder coated, you can zip that powder coating right off of them um, and get them ready to, uh, to, to paint. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to, um, uh, oh, I'll show you my um, gun real quick. This is what I use for spraying. It's a Harbor Freight um, HVLP, high volume, low pressure. I have a regulator on here that I set at uh, usually about 15 to 20 PSI when I'm spraying. Um, I built this little copper fitting. Uh, it's just a three quarter inch um, pipe thread fitting going to a little nipple of three quarter inch, uh, and, or three eighths, I'm sorry, three eighths nipple uh, with threads to, three eight, to a three eighths little uh, section of pipe, and then a three eighths to half inch um, or three quarter uh, adapter. So it just gives you a little bit of a, of a opening there to be able to pour into. I am in the process of 3D printing um, the same type of hopper that's on here to go on the type top of the gun. 
Um, I thought we had it done yes, ready yesterday and it just wasn't uh, threading on properly. So this is what I'm going to use today. Um, it just screws right on to uh, the top here and then I pour my, pour my paint into that. So let me get some uh, paint mixed up, uh, or not mixed up, but uh, ready and get some clear coat uh, mixed and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my paint here. We're going to be spraying a red base on this. Um, these paints I'm using right now are Limco paints. This is a their Viper Red. Um, I just nothing against Tamco. Um, I probably will be starting to use them, but when I started doing this, I wanted to get started. I'm so excited! I wanted to start doing it right away, as fast as possible. And I'm on the East Coast, and uh, Tamco being uh, way out on the West Coast, um, I didn't want to wait for the paints to get here. So I went to uh, a local parts uh, paint supply store uh, for automotive paints and got their Limco line. I use uh, the Limco paints for my clear coat. I use um, Limco's uh, Elf VC10 uh, with a medium hardener. Um, it's worked real great for me so far. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive, which I like. Um, and like I say that's it's just readily available for me. So um, that's where we're at on that. Uh, this is a, a little holder that I built. Um, I actually have only done two epoxy cups, um, and this was the holder I built for the rotisserie turner. Um, and I just found that I still use it because it makes it real easy for me to uh, spin the cups and, and paint them and, and do whatever I'm doing as far as handling them. Uh, and they just go into my little board there, so it uh, keeps, them, uh, keeps them up. So let's uh, start laying some paint. I just set my, um, my trigger to where I have uh, about um, right around an eighth inch of uh, trigger pull uh, for, for the paint itself. And then my fans, uh, I set down just off of full wide open. Uh, and again, I set it uh, right, around, right around 20, 20, 22 PSI. A little paint in here. And again, um, as uh, Randy has, has mentioned uh, all the time, it's very important to have ventilation. Um, I don't wear, I'm not wearing a mask right now because I have this ventilation right here behind me. This is a little box that I built. Um, later on when we go to start uh, spraying the glitter, I'll show you the little box that I built um, when I first started doing this. It was nothing but a 24 by 24 by 24 um, box with a with a 20 inch box fan in the back of it and that's really all I have now I have a, a 20 inch box fan in the back here behind these filters and it goes into I encapsulated the whole back of this cabinet into plastic uh, even the sides and the roof of this is all plastic uh, it's just a two by a two by three um, frame and uh, I encapsulated the back of it in plastic and then narrowed that down to a um, 8 inch by 24 inch wall vent like you would get for your house and that goes outside uh, right outside my garage door so um, before I did this um, I had my other one that I'll show you in a little bit it was just uh, in front of a window I put the box fan and the and the um, the box on a table right in front of the window and when I was painting I opened the window up turn the box fan on it evacuated all the fumes right outside so you don't need a real big elaborate setup to do this type of painting but you do it is very 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 important that you have proper ventilation to get those fumes outside so let's put some paint on this make sure you put a real uh, not a heavy wet coat because you don't want runs uh, but you want to put a nice heavy coat down and then uh, immediately go over to uh, to spray your your glitter so
now we got that down. Sorry, my air compressor turned on. We're going to start turning the glitter. Again, turn, turn it on. And just start spraying. Sorry about the air compressor turning on. I didn't know that, that was that slow, but uh, there you can see uh, the glitter is on there. I do have a couple spots that I didn't get uh, wet enough with the paint. Um, that's what you have to be real careful for, careful with. Uh, is make sure you get um, all your your coating evenly and get it nice and wet so that the um, the glitter has something to adhere to. Uh, I did use a little more glitter on this one than I. Than I probably otherwise would have. Uh, because of that, I was trying to get that dry spot um, to uh, to take the glitter. But um, after I'm done um, and uh, got that glitter in, then I just hit it with my um, my spray gun. Let me grab that. So then I just don't, not any paint, just strictly air only, but I just hit it real good with uh, about 50 PSI to embed that glitter into, into that cup. So we're going to let that, um, we're going to let that set for uh, about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, we're going to come back in and we'll put the clear coat on it. While, while I'm over here, uh, and as you can see, it, it does get uh, get glitter, uh, <laughs> like a glitter bomb. But that fan did work pretty good. I actually, uh, I like that, the, the, the way I, that fan pattern uh, went out on that. It coated it real nice. Uh, but this is basically what I used to spray into. You can see the filter is still in the bottom there. Um, it's just a 24 inch by 24 inch by 24 inch square. And I had a hole, had a hole cut in the top there, and put a light in that so I could see. And then I would just set whatever I'm painting uh, on the bottom. It just sat, uh, sat like this, and face right out the window. So that would be something that you know would be uh, would be easily uh, able to be set up. Um, excuse the mess in my in my garage. It's it's <laughs> it's very very messy out here, but. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to get the uh, clear mix set up uh, with hardener and uh, we'll be right back to spray the clear coat. All right, it's just about been uh, 20 minutes here. Uh, Limco recommends you wait um, about 15 to 30 minutes for uh, in between a base coat and a clear coat. So we have our uh, clear coat mixed up here. I know this is not probably the proper uh, cup to mix it in, but it's only in there for a short period of time and I've never had uh, any problems with it. Um, I just wanted to talk real quick uh, about this. Um, I probably wasn't as close to the cup as what I should have been. I was trying to keep an eye on the, the video and on um, what I was doing, uh, but you, you're going to want to be, uh, you know, probably within an inch and a half to two inches uh, of your cup. That way you get a nice um, uh, embed, plus that um, cuts down the, the overspray or the, the, the glitter from going uh, all over the place. Uh, it helps out with that as well, too. So um, just wanted to touch base on that real quick. Um, let's go ahead and add in our clear here. My gun set up. And I'm going to put on my 
my 3M mask. Probably won't be able to hear me, but it's always best uh, to have that on when you're still in play. Put our first turn down. All right, that's our first coat down. Uh, for the L LVC-10, uh, you wait uh, five to 10 minutes in between coats. So I'm gonna pause the video. We'll wait uh, about eight minutes and we'll come back for the second coat. All right, it's been uh, about 10 uh, minutes here. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our second coat of clear coat. Uh, I'm gonna put my mask back on and we'll get that applied. I did. Uh, I switched my filters around um, because I noticed when I was spraying my first one, this filter uh, it's about ready to need changed, and uh, I was getting some some uh, overspray back into the into the garage, so I just switched those out so I can get uh, a nice flow out there. But those do need changed. I just haven't got a chance to change them out yet. So let's get our spray. All right, so that one is done. Um, it is ready, as you can see. Let me see, I don't know if I'm out, good my lighting is out here, but um, it does have um, a little bit of roughness to it. Uh, unfortunately, when I was doing my clear, uh, I was stupid and used a cup that already I previously uh, had clear mixed in, and it started to break down the previous used clear. And so when I was just spraying, uh, I got some garber. So um, I'm gonna have to probably do a light wet sand on that and then uh, another final coat of clear, but um, we'll see how, it, see how it turns out. But uh, as you can see, I mean, that's uh, pretty, pretty glossy and uh, you know, the, the, the glitter looks fine. Um, if I was putting graphics on that, uh, I would put graphics right over top of that now and um, and then put a final coat of clear on it and you would be done. So um, I'm going to let this sit for uh, a few minutes and then I'll come back or we'll remove the masking and show you the finished product. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes so we're going to go ahead and remove the masking on this. This one is going to be tough to do that. Let's go up and do this one. bit of sand from sandblasting uh, falling out there. It's what you want to be careful with when you do do sandblasting is that the sand doesn't get onto your freshly painted 
surface. But there you have it, a little bit of uh, cleanup. I am kind of mad at myself for uh, using that cup. I, I shouldn't have, but it is actually leveling itself out a little bit uh, as it sits. So it may be okay, a little bit of wet sanding and buffing, and uh, that would probably be good to go. And uh, the one spot that I um, had up here at the top that um, didn't uh, get glitter coverage real good on it, uh, I was able to uh, sponge brush a little bit of the red base coat onto that and then sprinkle a little bit of glitter by hand and it filled that right in. So if that does happen to you, um, that's always a way to fix little uh, trouble spots like that. So set this over here. I uh, just wanted to show you real quick my uh, clamp me mechanism I made for the cups. This is what this is what I use. Um, as you turn the nut here, these expand uh, out and they're covered in uh, uh, it's PB. It's um, sorry, acrylic. Um, plastic acrylic that I laser cut with my laser um, and then these are coated with a rubber hose so that it, it grips the hose so uh, I can fit these you know all the way down to uh, the smaller cups and then all the way up uh, you know naturally you would never have a cup <laughs> that that big I don't think uh, but uh, it is it is a very nice very nice holder for uh, for cups so um, those are also um, available if, for those that, that would want them. Um, just want to touch base on the, uh, the sprayer again. Uh, again, this is a Harbor Freight um, gun. This is available at any Harbor Freight for about $15. Um, these pieces are 3D printed. I will have them available for those that want them. Um, and uh, this, like I say, this one worked out pretty good. I may even narrow it down a little bit more, um, but uh, this one just screws on to the end um, and comes off. And this one, uh, you remove a little set screw there, and this one would come off if you would want, to cut, want those to come off. Um, and I, again, as well, uh, the uh, the the bowl or the the pot, uh, if you will for the uh, Harbor Freight Purple HVLP uh, spray guns um, will also be uh, available as well. So private message me um, and, uh, and we can get you, uh, get you set up with those. Um, again, it's, it's, it's very simple. Don't let it be intimidating. Um, you know, this cup with epoxy um, would would take me you know probably uh at least three days uh by from start to finished artwork um this one i probably won't put anything on i'm probably just going to leave it like that and give it to one of my daughters um to uh, to use but um that's uh that's very very simple um again you don't need a real elaborate setup to do it as long as you have some sort of outside ventilation to get those fumes outside I would just spray it in here and there's virtually no odor of, of spray uh, in my garage here at, at all. Uh, so uh, for lighting, I just have up here, I have a four foot uh, fluorescent shop light and I got two um, bright LED uh, daylight bright balanced bulbs to put in that. So that gives me plenty of light. I probably could stand to have a little more especially when you're painting lighting is everything uh, so I probably could stand to have a little more lighting but uh, but in a nutshell it works for me it works for what I do I have a full-time job I do this on the side uh, so I'm not doing 10-15 uh, cups a week uh, at least not right now um, but, uh, but for what I do and all intents and purposes for for what I do it works out very very well so uh, again Thanks everybody for their interest and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later.